supposedly rescue focused the Kershaw 8650 barricade in this tabletop review though I will convince you that it is a great EDC blade especially at its indicated price now all subject to change of around $25 $25 welcome to the knife show here in TMP year 13 one of my many formats okay not many one of my three formats that I do tabletop bunker barricade each mildly popular within the project <laughs> I, I have a good time each time I do it oh, by the way I'm all alone so if you're expecting TD to chime in so sorry he ain't here doesn't matter I carry the show anyhow you know that he'll sit there silent oh my goodness he'll show up more though and I have a bunch of videos already produced where TD will be in the bunker with me on the tabletop and we're going to cover blades watches guns race cars okay maybe not race cars hey when are you going to review the vet nothing mm, I kind of already did on the track if you're in patreon you would have seen it so I talk about the vet at length driving it 10 tenths it's out there and I have a part two to go fall two will post sometime so check that out join TMP patreon that content is special probably just for patreon I'm not sure if I'll release it to the general wild of YouTube probably not hey by the way did you see my Kershaw shuffle EDC knife review I reviewed this blade right here that's a great little blade right there and it also is super inexpensive you might be able to see my engraving of $12 on the blade i do that because it's a cast member i'm doing it more and more it's for me so i can remember and keep all the details straight uh, not sure when i'll post this video but this is a great knife and we'll get to the a650 here in a second but i want to show you two other varieties of the shuffle that i really like so 8700 as you can see this has a backwash finish on it black wash you know we talked about that really nice purple scales with the k logo molded in deep carry pocket clip the standard deep carry got a driver at the end cap lifter so anyways i reviewed that one the ones i didn't sh show you or have at the time uh were first this one the kershaw diy do it yourself same blade same steel hcr 13 mov and this is a great little knife and check this out it comes with two bits on it so you have a phillips head bit on it a flat standard screwdriver bit and you have a bit holder at the end now i took this off and put in a stronger neodymium magnet here it's missing a screw here on purpose because i have it epoxied in there because the magnet holding these bits was very weak and now it's uh awesome although the bits don't sit quite as deep as they did before but now dudes oh it's money and that's functional. I don't think this is hokey. This is like for realsies. You can actually do some work with this thing. So it has a lot of utility in its small and very inexpensive package. I think this one's going to be a little bit more than the regular shuffle. But I mean, what? I don't know, 18, 20 bucks for that? A little bit thick, a little bit heavier. Would I prefer a multi-tool over this? Uh, for the same weight, yeah, I would. I would. But it's just a little tiny you know EDC blade you're going to carry around huh the Kershaw shuffle DIY is a great choice uh, we're going to get to this one I just want to show you one more here's the shuffle 2 in tanto form that's FDE plastic flintstone style scales I've always liked those you can swap out the clip as you can see it's got a cap lifter and a driver at the bottom here uh, also the black wash finish here which I don't hate. I've just said it's just been done so much. You know, it seems like every knife Kershaw does, they feel like they have to put it on there. Great knives, though. Very inexpensive. Framing what is supposedly a rescue knife, the Kershaw Barricade 8650. Oh, and by the way, this is the Atmos 4037. Previously reviewed. I think it's pretty affordable. Super lightweight. Really nice knife. Svelte. Same carry clip. Well, not the same, but it is a deep carry clip with CF inlaid scales. So I love that most. Really cool. The package for that one too, by, by the way, is right. Yeah. 
Do you get like a three for one? Three for one. Atmos. These are all Kershaw products. Uh, on the table, we've got, what is this? The uh, Luke Scout German Armored Car Falk Wolf D9. And this is a 4053 with a hands mod that I did. This is an AV8 discontinued. Good luck finding this one. I, I should say good luck. It's still out there in various formats. The AV8 4053. The hands won't be as rad as that. Because I programmed it. Okay, so like I said, this is a rescue knife. Do you know where it gets its inspiration from? And, and I'm just guessing on this. I could be completely wrong. If you said Benchmade Triage, I think you're right. That's the knife I think it was, I don't know, not copying because it's very different in a lot of different ways, but it's, I don't know, homaging. Orange, rescue cutter, glass breaker, assisted opening, although the triage is not assisted opening. Um, you know, that's where I'm, I'm thinking it's getting its inspiration. Uh, we have a triage around, but dang, we cannot find it. I don't know where my triage is. It's probably in some system somewhere, like a survival kit somewhere. I really should have kept it out because it's a great cast member to show. So we're just going to pretend it's on the table. It ain't. So we're just going to look at this one. Oh, and by the way, did I mention the price? Yeah, I think I did. 25 bucks, more or less. Dudes. Uh, so it does have a rescue focus, but like I said, I think this will be a great EDC knife. Let's start with the blade. So it's sharp, 8CR 13MOV, it's black coated. Uh, I did some cutting tests with this. It did pretty good actually, and I'll inset the footage somehow. I love 8CR, it's a great steel for the money. Uh, hollow ground here, so we're not looking at a flat ground blade, it's hollow ground. Nice tip on it for detail work. Kind of a double choil here too, so you can go back of the guard and front. And I can't remember when I was cutting with it if that's what I was doing. Probably. I often, if I have gloves, I'll come forward of the guard, almost always actually, for more control. I think it's funny, it has kind of a shine on it, the black coating. And it did not come out, uh, it did not come off during our cardboard test. It probably will with extended use. But that's a great blade shape right there for opening packages, food preparation, just daily tasks. Perfect. Uh, some have complained about the deployment on the 8650. I don't really see a problem with it. Speed safe, assisted opening. Thank you, Kershaw. So glad for that. It comes out, locks up tight. You know, this is not a hard use knife. It's got a thin 420 stainless steel liner, embedded liner in the plastic scales. Those aren't G10 scales. There's no skeletonizing going on here. The weight is 4.4 ounces on this knife. Yeah, I wish they would have skeletonized it for sure. But it's a $25 knife, so who cares, right? Who cares? Some attempt at jimping at the back. None on the top side, some in the back. It's worthless, it doesn't do anything. It's just basically aesthetic. And then let's look at centering on the barricade. Pretty excellent. I like how they didn't make the blade too thick. Look at this. So it's not really thick stock. Has a double taper going on there too. I, I like that. I think it's cool. Du dual thumb studs. So you can deploy it with that. Let's try that out. With gloves. Mm, that's a little bit harder. Yeah, it's a dig to get into there. I think the best and surest way is to go flipper. Uh, there is some occlusion on both sides with the thumb studs and it would not be easy to rectify it because of the stainless steel liners that are right there. And milling those is a real bear. I wouldn't even try it. Don't even try it, it's not gonna work. They are extremely hard. I would probably think of this primarily as a flipper knife, which is fine by me. I mean, pff, flippers are cool. The flipper has kind of a sharp edge on it, but I don't really notice it even without gloves. It's rounded somewhat. I could take a Dremel to it and make it even more so. Albeit I would take off that black finish, but for a $25 knife, who cares, right? Pretty good deep carry pocket clip on the Kershaw Barricade. Hmm, that looks kind of familiar. Where have I seen that pocket clip before? Whoosh. Oh yeah, on the 1870 Knockout, it is a family clip. 
And I've run the Knockout for many years. Love it, thin, fast, great blade shape. And so I am really familiar with this clip. One thing about the clip that I've learned from the Knockout and some others that run it is I'm not super fond at how the screws attach. Minor gripe, I know, because I still love the Knockout and I love this clip too, same exact clip. What can happen is if you have thick fabric on your pants, like I'm wearing shorts today that have thick cotton fabric, you'll have trouble seating it all the way to the rim of the pocket because those screws invade the clip space. I like how that sounds, invade the clip space. If you do something like the Atmos and you have a wider span clip, it doesn't matter so much. Look at the difference, see that? So the Atmos does the same thing, the, the, you know, the screws are right in the space of the clip, as opposed to being, they kind of did it, but not really, they should have offset it more and then made them flush mounted. So if you could have flush mounted it, it would have avoided it altogether. But when you get a wider clip like the Atmos, it doesn't matter but on the barricade, you might run into that issue. I still love it. I still like that it has the capability of carrying deep carry with most, not all fabrics. Whew, glad I got that off my chest. Uh, did I say I love the orange color yet? Yeah, I love orange. Orange is like one of my all time favorite colors. It really is. Crappy traction on this thing though. It, it basically has no traction. So I don't expect a G10 like traction. It's slick. They're just plastic or whatever they are, nylon scales, they just, not good. They could have done a lot better giving it some real purchase and all it is is molding it. It's like not like we're milling it and I've already talked about the jimping. Micro Torx construction, flow through construction. There's your stop pin. I forgot to show you that. It's dual adjustable from either side with Micro Torx. You'd have to take the, the clip off from this side. Oh, and by the way, by the way that clip is reversible if you want to go tip up, carry. So you can put it on that side. But you're gonna include this supposed uh, rescue cutter, seat belt cutter, which having tested, it sucks. It is horrific. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, and remember the triage has a deployable rescue hook made of 154 CM steel. It's just, is great. It really cuts through stuff. Leather boots, thick webbing, clothing. Uh, this one, forget it. I mean, I cut rope with it and you can see I already nicked it up. And they're basically, they're basically blades out of a, a pencil sharpener. That's what they are. And, and could you replace them? It doesn't matter because you never would. I don't, I don't care who you are. You're like, I want to replace the, the blades in my barricade. You're never going to get around to it. So don't even act like you would. You're not. I'm not. There's no way. They're already dull. So I, I wouldn't even consider this a rescue cutter. Uh, I'm just being real with you. Uh, carbide glass breaker, I like that. I didn't really try to scribe with it in metal, but you probably could. It didn't seem like it fell out. It'd be a, a wicked, non-lethal, less than lethal impact device in this manner. Like this right there. So I like it. Um, and remember, even though this does have a rescue focus, uh, I'm dinging some of its rescue features like the seatbelt cutter, it's hokey, it doesn't work. There's no good traction. No, doesn't work. Uh, if you have like thick pants as an EMT or a police officer, you might not be able to seat it all the way. That being said, I still like the knife. Because at the outset, like I said, this to me is a great EDC knife. And for a lot of you guys, you like the bigger EDC blades for the price, deep carry pocket clips, speed safe. Dudes, black finished blade, good blade steel. It's not too heavy, it's 4.4, and that's without skeletonizing. But I, I still think it's a win. It, maybe your mileage will vary as you put it into some rescue functions. I wouldn't count on it. I'm, I'd rather have a higher quality tool for that, like a triage. That's just me. But I still think it's a great knife, great color, very, very affordable knife. Good job overall, Kershaw.